uh, a dark to go like I've been believing in the sermon leadership and uh, I've been believing in like uh, uh, the coaches is because I've, I had to believe like the coaches are the greatest leaders. Uh, so it's affirmation, you know, it's in crisis. So still it's, it's hard ready to define. But I want to tell you after reading and after like a couple of doctors, um, after putting all my sensing uh, to learning about the leadership and like how to uh, influence people and how to get your work done by the people for and how to create a great culture like in the company and how to influence the people, how to gel the people, how to build up uh, the people for the vision. So uh, uh, what, what I have learned like in my last couple of decades, if you want to lead then lead like Jesus, then lead like God. Why? Because uh, if you go to look at the Jesus work, if you go to look at uh, the God's work, that's very special. And if you look at its uh, content, like what the God, what the Jesus has been doing like in his life, and what the God is doing for the humanity, because it's totally selfless work, all right? So watch, because the God, God is giving, all right? God gives, and then God forgives, and then God forgets. And by end of the day, this circle starts again, okay? God is giving, God is forgiving, and God is forgetting, because God is giving. We, we, we as a human being, like, uh, we've been believing, we, we are believing, even like we are not in the time of believing, we're in the time of knowing. So, uh, so God is giving, like you know, and God is giving uh, without any consideration, right? Is giving, and is giving twenty four over seven by three sixty five. Whatever we are doing, right? So we are blessed. So we all deserve to be led. Like I've been like talking to a lot of people uh, in the company. So well, what I told them, like you know, is. Uh, we all deserve to be led very well. Like, and it's a, it's a basic human right to be led well, right? Because leadership has its content. It has, it's a choice, right? It's a content uh, because no one is a born leader. If you go to follow the content, if you go to follow its ingredients, so you got to be like a leader. You got to be like a like Jesus. So uh, Jesus is giving, all right? And Jesus is forgiving, like people are like making a lot of sense. We are not following, we are not, um, we are not following the rules. We are not following all the transcendence or right and the commandments, but still God is giving. And again, like uh, God is uh, forgiving and then God is forgetting. Whatever we're doing, like God is treating us like a child, all right, like his child. So he is forgiving. And again, there's no consideration. There is no uh, paid off. No, you're not paying off to God, like, but still God is giving. So this is what I can learn, like, in my last couple of practices. Uh, leadership job is totally one-sided love, all right? You're going to be in love alone, and you are not expecting anything from uh, the respondent or from your people, like, you are leading well, because it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. And leaders, they always put love into their work, right? They have empathy. So, um, uh, because we all are so lucky, and congratulations! See here, we uh, you can see Coach Herdiana. Uh, she also has joined us. She's also greatest leader, and uh, we we always uh, you know learning a lot from her. Uh, so I would request like the people uh, on this platform to put your right hand over here on your right shoulder, and uh, then put your left hand on your right shoulder, and I want to help you to see you to meet the most significant and the most important person in your life. Hug yourself because you really come first in your life. And uh, I personally, in my life, I was the worst person really, but I was so difficult to lead myself. So the law of solipsism uh, is amazing. Like it makes us responsible if you gonna love yourself and if you gonna hug yourself today. And I wanna congratulate uh, there are a couple of reasons because you have joined a great team. It's, it's a high leaders team. I can see. Uh, so Professor Carolina is also here, and uh, Coach Ardiana. Like we, we are mostly I like together. I like in different forum. So uh, you are the most significant and the most important person. And hug yourself, meet yourself, and you you born right to on on the spirit of freedom and without the spirit of fear. And we are so lucky. Uh, that we are on the greatest platform here today. 
and we are sharing this about the leadership. So I had that experience a couple of times, like I, well, I had given an opportunity like to train uh, one very significant guy who was the most responsible person in a hospital. It was a public hospital, so there I could have an opportunity to train um, the medical specialists like who's the top big fish like in in any hospital. So I had an opportunity to have a talk with him. So I met him uh, for a couple of time, and I could know and I I just asked him about his job descriptions and about the KPI. And so I've been observing with him, and I've been like with him from morning to evening, and I could see him like he was. Uh, in his office, and he was leading uh, the people uh, in certain perspective on uh, permission level or on, uh, on the relationship level, but uh, he was stuck out there. And the people were following, why? Because uh, people had um, only one choice, like if they are not going to follow him, so they uh, may be laid off from the job, or maybe they would be expelled, or maybe they would be fired from the work. Uh, so we had then a uh, discussion and we discussed about the leadership and uh, we, um, we had an opportunity like to talk for a week and a little bit what happened like he was demoted from that position uh, for some reasons uh, he was deputed and um, next like after a couple of months when I met him, when I met him back so I could see an enormous change in his office because the people, his employees, the internal clients, the internal um, customers, internal clients, the employees, that hospital, they were coming to uh, his office and they were discussing with them like how to follow the operating procedures and how to follow and how to get the work done and how, because now he was, he transformed himself like after some planning. Uh, and now people were coming to him, he was, he became a great solution to his team, to the internal client. So it was the massive change, uh, amazing change, seriously, like what I could see there, because now people were coming to him and asking for the solution because he became a solution. Now he was enjoying his leadership. And a couple of things happened at that moment. Though he was demoted, he was not on uh, the big fish seat. He was demoted one year down. But now the boss and you know, the internal clients, they were coming to him and they were asking him like how to get the things done. But that day, it was the greatest affirmation for me too that what actually the leadership is because leadership has no position, all right? And leader is a person personally like who comes up with the solutions. Uh, I have a beautiful chart today what I would share. There are 15... Um, toxic statements like which uh, leaders never use uh, in the working environment. So I will uh, share in our slide. So, uh, and now like he is enjoying seriously and the person who loves you why? because he is working on the masses level and even he's at the hospital or he is not at the hospital. So he's helping the humanity and he is uh, putting all his sense to help the people. So, so now he's on, on the pinnacle level leadership. Uh, he's on uh, the personal level leadership. Why? Because you uh, choose yourself like to help humanity. And uh, one great sense of life, you know, once you become uh, the most precious person, all right, then you become most educated person, then you become the guru, then you become free for the humanity. Then you don't charge, then you won't charge, and you don't care about it. You become free for the humanity. And this is what I could see like he's been doing. So a leader is, is an amazing person. Uh, when a leader, when he, he hardly see existing uh, within us. And uh, uh, we feel like we have done all the work and then we feel uh, acknowledged like we have done this. So because leader is never they like to accept any kind of credit, even uh, he is like a sugar cane. Uh, we last time in a podcast we discussed. Uh, the leader is like a sugar cane. If you look at the life of the sugar cane, if you plan from the day one to uh, by end of the day, the sugar cane life, the cloud of sugar cane life is so amazing. It's always uh, people get benefit from it. It's always, you know, 
trickling down. It's always like going into all uh, benefits. So, be